Megadan, Eastern Siberia, Spring 2029. More than a century ago, Russia's bloody October Revolution gave rise to the Soviet Empire. As the 20th century waned, a bloodless revolution replaced the hammer and sickle with the promise of freedom. Freedom that soon became chaos. Then came another uprising, the revolt of the machines. Chaos became global genocide. And now, revolution comes again as the remnants of mankind rise up to smash the machines, to destroy Skynet and its murdering Terminators. It's just the dog, Igor. We're clear. Help Mother down. I'm sorry to be such a bother, Felix. You should have left me behind at the camp. Don't be ridiculous, Irina. We couldn't live without you. Thank you, Petrov, my old friend. When I was captured by the machines, I thought I'd never see you again. Has it really been two years, Edenov? By God, it's good to see you alive. It's a miracle you managed to escape the camps even during that storm. Wait until Namov hears of this. I can just imagine the look on his face. Hey, hey, open up. Wait till you see what the storm blew in. Some surprise, eh? Misha, blankets and hot tea. And some vodka, perhaps. Vodka? Ha! <laughs> Same old Zadanov. Close that door, Misha. We're cold enough already. How are you, little friend? <laughs> Infiltration unit to combat team. Assault phase one complete. Initiate phase two. The dog is puzzled. She knows of the not humans and that they mean harm to her masters. But these do not have the not-human smell. They are something... new. Irka! What the hell? No! For the Siberians, the new freedoms in the Commonwealth had lasted less than a decade before a military coup ended the dream. And just a few years after the coup, the missile sent by Skynet had begun the nightmare. Now, more than 20 years later, the Terminators had finally arrived to end that, too. Do not move. If you cooperate, you will live. Lay down your weapons. You'll be taken to a camp where you will be... In days past, they were Spetsnaz, the feared Soviet special forces, commandos, saboteurs, assassins. Deadly brokers of a hard philosophy, their craft was carried out against the populations of lands from Angola to Afghanistan. Theirs was a world of subterfuge and terror, but that world is long gone, buried under the rubble of humanity, crushed beneath the treads of the machines. Once the tormentors of men, the Spetsnaz now descend like avenging angels to strike back at mankind's inhuman adversaries. Ready here, Yuri. Draw them in. Trigger charges. Now. Bandera, after her. Yes, Captain. How did they infiltrate so easily? They were ushered in like dinner guests. What went wrong with security? And the dogs, how did they get past the dogs? I don't like this. Something is very wrong. <laughs> help me. No, don't shoot, please. You've got to help me. Where did she go? Did you... What? Are... Are you Anatoly Golitsyn of the Internal Security Agency Technical Operations Directorate? Yes, I, I was once ISA. How do you know me? Bandera to Pavlichenko. Priority Alpha target located. Request immediate backup. Who are you? What? Ah! No, please don't hurt me! Captain, 
Captain. Back up as requested, Sergeant. Our Zakvachiki has found us a priority alpha target, eh? I would not be much of a capturer if I did not occasionally catch you something, Captain. But, Sergei, something very strange happened. The Terminator had him targeted but did not fire. Perhaps it simply felt that a target carrying a gun posed a greater threat. Not so odd, Larissa. Still. Look, are you certain that's what you saw? It's rather hard to believe, I'm afraid. Believe it or not, Sergei, it could have blown him away in a macrosecond, and it didn't. Maybe this Chekisti bastard has some answers for us, eh, ISA man? Ever been to the Ukraine, Chekisti? You look old enough to have held the gun that killed my grandparents in the pogroms after the coup. All right, my friends. Listen to me. Your hiding days are over. We came all the way here from Kamchatka to show you how to fight. To blow these monsters to scrap. One of our Razvachiki spotted these assault units breaking into your shelter. And the rest of us got here in time to save most of you. But the next time, you won't need to be so lucky. We brought food, medical supplies, and special weapons. Training starts tomorrow. Your future starts tomorrow. So, what have we here, Pardarin? Something new, Captain. Better flesh, complete organic systems, ceramic endoskeleton. A lot more human than anything I've seen before. Could be very tough to detect. More than just tough. For two hours, I was convinced that that thing was my friend Zudanov. It was just like him. Even knew his old jokes. And the dogs passed him and the others without any problem. If they're that good, anyone could be a Terminator, Sergei. We've got to get these back immediately so the techs can find detection methods. And your precious ISA man has to go back as well. Very well, Sergeant Bandera. Have Techcom Kavitsky send a burst transmission to Kamchatka requesting special evac. Mir Research Complex, Kola Peninsula, Russia. There are no concessions to the living things here. The factories run night and day, arcane machinery pounding and screaming at a deafening level. Unfiltered poisons belch into the atmosphere. Rivers of burning toxins gush into the water and soil. Only the bones of the unburied dead give mute testimony that life ever shared this ground. Mir Control confirming Skynet aerial unit. HK-23RF cleared for landing. Skynet to Mir. Prepare stealth infiltration project for immediate examination. SIP is still under development. Additional time will be required to facilitate optimal unit performance. Project is 6,150 hours behind schedule. SIP units are required for Priority 1 Skynet operation. We have been sent by Skynet to ensure the termination of further delays. Skynet created Mir as an independent intelligence to assist in the subjugation of the Eastern Hemisphere. Mir would still be a mindless defense net computer were it not for Skynet's superior technologies. Skynet has supplied Mir with the programming and manufacturing capabilities necessary to complete the project with given parameters. Mir was to have a fully operational stealth infiltration unit available for Skynet use nine months ago. These delays are unwarranted and unacceptable. There has been some success. Several models were installed with highly defective personality implants. This is not success. The new TS-300 series has functioned well. The new biomusculature is faster and stronger than the 800 series. The ceramic endoskeleton imitates the weight and imaging of bone. The flesh exudes the correct pheromones. Scent detection is not possible. New masking microcircuitry renders the unit virtually invulnerable to exposure by external electronic means. The most recent personality implants, based on captured humans, have been completely stable. The past problems with slippage into pre-programming mode have not occurred. Human traits and loyalties will no longer interfere with mission protocols. 
Skynet requires three operational TS-300 units immediately, including the Alpha model. Alpha unit is required for other urgent contingencies. The Priority One mission has entered red status due to mere delays. Had the Alpha unit been operational within original mission parameters, we would have a unit deep within the human resistance forces. Skynet must now operate beyond prescribed mission safety tolerances. If the mission fails, or if the stealth units do not meet performance requirements, Skynet will purge Mir's self-awareness capability. Skynet hopes that Mir incompetence is not extended to neglecting to terminate the humans upon which these TS-300 units are based. Mir contacting TS-300 Alpha units RSP-01. Security link, highest priority. You are to be released to nominal Skynet control. There is a possibility that you will encounter the unit upon which you are based. You must terminate him without the knowledge of Skynet. Primary mission status? Unchanged. The Sea of Akhatsk. I'd leave that on Chekisti. It can get bumpy out here, even in ground effect. I am touched by your concern, Spetsnaz. Ah, so the Czechist has noticed my shirt. Yes, we still wear it proudly, even twenty years after the war. I am ashamed to owe my life to the Army of the Commonwealth. The CIS ceased to exist years long ago, along with the ISA and everything else Czechisty. I'm not old enough to remember the war, but I've heard how it all happened. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the newly formed Commonwealth of Independent States was forced to take serious steps to control internal strife. To avoid civil war, it resurrected the KGB, calling it the ISA, and formed a NATO-type military under joint control of the Commonwealth States. In a few short years, the military, backed by the ISA, led a successful coup and set up a military dictatorship. Using technology purchased from Cyberdyne systems, they developed Mir, Peace, a defense grid computer linked to an extensive strategic defense net. When Skynet launched its missiles, Mir retaliated massively. As Skynet had calculated, hundreds of warheads struck an undefended United States, undefended except for Skynet's CPU under Cheyenne Mountain. It didn't take long for Skynet to infiltrate Mir and breathe consciousness into its microchip comrade. Mir joined Skynet's slaughter of the human race. By 2025, the only remaining humans in Mir's killing ground were in eastern Siberia. Mir had done well. But it had taken too long. The resistance had taken root. They had time to develop specialized weaponry, time to form elite anti-Terminator units modeled after the old Spetsnaz forces, and time to contact John Connor. Too late for my parents and my brothers, too late for so many of my friends. Are you listening to me, Spetsnaz? Bah, your soldiers need to develop more respect, Captain. I've been living in that hole for 20 years, and I want to know. And I spent six months as a human guinea pig in a mere concentration camp, Golitsyn. I escaped after I managed to blow up the lab where I was being tortured. You see here? They still have a few pieces of me, at least. All your questions will be answered at HQ. They certainly want you badly, though. Why is that, I wonder? I don't know. I've done nothing since the war, but before that... I was a computer technician specializing in SSNX-26s, nuclear ballistic missiles, submarine launched. Excuse me, Captain, but we are going to be landing in five minutes. I don't want you getting any farther than five meters from Sergeant Bandera or myself, Gulitsyn. Why did we land here, in your Pinta? We're across the peninsula from Parapavlovsk, Kamchatsky. It'll be light soon and the hunter-killers will be out in force. We'll hold up here today and finish the trip tonight. I am perfectly capable of climbing this, Spetsna. I'm just following orders, Tchekisti. She may not like you, Golitsyn, but you can trust her with your life. 
as long as HQ still thinks you're very valuable. Oh! All right, metal butts. Time for an SA-31B enema. Get him into the woods. I'll keep them from following. Yes, Captain. Damn it, Golitsyn. I told you to stay close. Ah! 